In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create three hairstyles that I think are perfect for spring. The first look is an inverted braid. The second look is this messy side bun. And the last look are these rockin' waves. So yeah guys, I hope you like this video and let's go ahead and get started. So this first hairstyle is just like a regular braid, but it's reversed. And what I mean by that is instead of taking the braid over, you're gonna be taking the braid under. So as you can see, my hair is already parted on the side and I'm just going to do kind of like a plate and then I'm gonna bring the braid down. So what I'm gonna do right now is just take my comb and I'm going to part off a section that I want to braid. So I'm just kind of following the side of my head, probably a little thicker than an inch, and this is all I have for right now. It's just this chunk of hair in the front. And I'm gonna take all the rest of my hair and I'm gonna pin it back. So now I'm just taking a chunk of this section and splitting it into three parts up near my part. So instead of braiding the hair like I normally would, going over with each section like this, I'm actually gonna do it completely opposite and go under. So instead of starting out like a regular braid, I'm gonna take this strand and kick it under. And then the other side braid, I'm also going to do the same thing. So I'm just gonna go under. And that is the only difference with this braid. Now I'm just going to pick up some more hair on each side. If you want to bring this braid down even further, you can create a side ponytail and start braiding those three sections together just like you did the top part. Just make sure to braid the sides under instead of over. And now I'm just going to secure the braid with my elastic band. And I'm going to start tugging at the braid a little bit to give it some more texture. I really like this chunky look on this braid. I think it just looks really cool and I'm going to keep creating that chunky kind of braid all throughout. So I'm just going to keep pulling sections apart until I have it the way I want it. So for this next hairstyle, all I'm going to do is just take my hair back into a low ponytail and I'm actually going to create a low bun. And you can kind of position this however you want on your head. You don't have to do it on the side. You could do it centered in the back. But I kind of like it off the side in the back. So I'm just going to create that low bun. And I'm going to pull my hair about pretty loose into a pretty big low bun. And now all I'm going to do is secure this bun to my head and then I'm going to start pulling out pieces to create that messy bun look. So this is what I have right now, and I absolutely love this look just because it is up and off your neck, and I think it's just perfect for spring because it's like a loose um, springtime updo, and I think it's just perfect. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it is a pretty loose updo. It's just kind of however you want it to look, and I kind of like it to look super messy and big, so that's why it's like this. <laughs> so now I'm just going to move on to the next hairstyle. So for this last hairstyle, all you want to do is grab some heat protectant for your hair because I am going to be using a flat iron for this look. So I'm just going to spray this all throughout my hair. And the look I'm creating are some rockin' waves. And basically all you want to do is just take chunks of your hair. I kind of like to do this randomly. You can separate your hair if you want to. But since I like that kind of messier look, especially for spring and summer, I kind of like to take random bits and just kind of do it that way. Um, all I'm going to do is take a few chunks of hair. You could grab like an inch wide if you want. And just going to take my Paul Mitchell flat iron is just grab onto the hair with the flat iron and push the hair down and then go back and pull the hair the opposite way. So you're kind of rocking the flat iron like that. So this is the first one and it kind of creates this funky wave kind of going off of your face. So this is what you're going to create throughout the whole head of hair and to do that again you just want to kick the flat iron back and forth so I'll grab another section of hair and I'll just keep working on this and show you guys the end result. But I'm just going to take some hair, bring it down, kick it back to the other side.
So I'm going to keep working on these rockin' waves and I'll show you guys the end result. Alright, so this is the hair I have now and again it is some pretty big kind of loose waves. So now I'm just going to take some hairspray from Pantene Pro V and this is one of my favorite hairsprays just because it does add shine and a lot of hairsprays, especially drugstore hairsprays, seem to take out shine. So I really like this hairspray for that. I'm just going to spritz it on. And so now that I have the hold locked in, I'm just going to add a little bit more shine to my hair. And this is a Paul Mitchell shine spray that I am absolutely in love with. This is called The Shine. And I love this product so much because it is the only product I have found that is at a cheap price and it also adds so much shine to your hair and it also smells really good too so that's a plus and it really doesn't take very much of this to go a long way so I'm just going to shake it up a little bit and go ahead and spray it into my hair so yeah guys those were my three looks for spring I really like these looks just because they do have a spring into summer kind of feel and they are like hairstyles that take like no time at all to do so I really like that and yeah I hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys next time bye